Shabbat Shalom, daughters of Zion. This is Virtuous Woman Channel. Welcome to the, today's topic, which is spiritual growth. Today's topic is spiritual growth. Let's get started. Spiritual growth is to do with the human soul, not physical. Growth, growing or developing in something that is human soul developing in the things of heavens human soul growing in the things of the most high building our soul feeding our soul keeping our soul in the line with things of heaven by reading the word of god meditating in the word of God, by listening to the messages of the true ministers of God, praying and communing with the, with the Most High, praising Him always, paying attention to His leading, and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened Hallelujah. Put in a new man which is renewed in knowledge of the Almighty. In Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. It reads, For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Those are our spiritual growth. In growing in the Lord, there will be spiritual understanding. There will be fruitfulness in the good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. In Ephesians 1. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 17, 18. So we use word of God today to go around the topic of spiritual growth. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 17 and 18 says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom, hallelujah, and revelation in the knowledge of him. When he gives us wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, that means we will know more of him. We will know the spiritual things. We will, we will have spiritual discernment, hallelujah. And verse 18 says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, hallelujah, the eyes of our understanding, the eyes of our spiritual mind will be enlightened. What we don't know before, we know it. Illuminate, Holy Spirit will illuminate our spirit. Hallelujah. That ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is... Our spiritual growth, getting, growing in the Lord, being enlightened. Hallelujah. Ephesians 3, verses 16 to 20 as well. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 to 20 says, That he will grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, 
that ye being rooted and grounded in love, hallelujah, may, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth of height. Then 19 says, and to know that love of Christ, which passeth knowledge. Love of Christ passeth knowledge. Hmm, hallelujah. That ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. When we grow spiritually, we will be filled with the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us hallelujah power of the most high holy spirit the spirit of jesus christ the son of the living god jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah then in colossians chapter 3 in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 17. Let's get on. We go to the word of the Lord to explain the growth, spiritual growth, growing in spirit. Colossians chapter 3 says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. When we risen with Christ, we will seek the things that are above. When we are growing spiritually, all our desire will be of things that are above. All our wants, all we want to feed our soul with, will be with things that are above. Heavenly things. Hallelujah. Where Christ seated on the right hand of God, set your affection on things above not things on the earth for ye are dead and your life is hid with christ in god when christ who is our life shall appear when sh shall ye also appear with him in glory hallelujah verse 5 says mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication Uncleanness, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil, concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which for which things sake the wrath of God, comment on the children of disobedience. Yeah. In the in the which ye also walketh. Walked some time, ye when ye lived in them. That was when we were in the world. But now ye also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. And verse nine says, "Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man." The old man in us was us when we were in the world, when we were daughters of Babylon. Now we are daughters of Zion. Hallelujah. So put off the old man with his deeds. The old man is the one that do the way the world do. The new man is the Christ that walketh in us. Hallelujah. So it says put off the old man with his deeds. And verse 10 says, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. The new man is renewed in knowledge. The new man grow in spirit. The new man acquires spiritual growth. The new man is enlightened, is quickened by the Holy Spirit, is, is being led by the Holy Spirit of everything to do. Hallelujah. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, 
barbarians, Scythians, born nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Hallelujah. No discrimination. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, boys of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. When we put on all this, we will definitely open the door for Holy Spirit to walk in us. Then our spiritual growth will be easy, will be, will be quick. Hallelujah. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ, have, and as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. You should forgive yourselves as Christ forgives you. And verse 14 says, And above all, these things put on charity, love, which is the bond of perfect, perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Peace of God rule in our hearts. This will give way for spiritual growth. We'll be able to grow when there is no filthiness in us. When we keep all these commandments and advice. Hallelujah. Let the peace of God rule in your heart. To, to the which also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful. Hallelujah. Praise him always. And the 16 say, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. We should read the word of God always. We should meditate in the word of God. We should live by the word of God. We should feed our spirits always with the word of God. In, in sorrow, in happiness, in peace of mind, in, 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 uh, in joyfulness, in, in, um, in songs. We should fill our hearts, our soul. With the word of God. This is good advice. Yeah. He said. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. In all wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another. In psalms and hymns. And spiritual songs. Singing with, the, with grace in your heart. To the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And 17 says, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Hallelujah. When we do all this, spiritual growth will be faster, will be easier for us because our body, our soul, our spirit will be ready for Holy Spirit to teach us and say, my daughter, this is the way, walk in it. As it says in um, Jeremiah, um, sorry, Isaiah 30, you say this is the way, walk in it. Hallelujah. In pursuing spiritual growth, the Most High gives spiritual blessing in Christ. Spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And this I've paraphrasing, bringing points out of these passages. Spiritual, spiritual blessings in heavenly places, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. It gives us power to wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places, Ephesians 6 verse 12. We will be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. And we will grow from the milk of the world, from the milk to meat. We won't be a baby that is uh, taking meat about the word of the Lord. We will be firm with the word. And when we see a strange doctrine, we will quickly remember all the, med um, the meditation we've done, all the passages we've read, and say, mm -mm, the word of God didn't say this. It says that. And there are some tough times that we will fight in our lives with the word of God. Hallelujah. So we 
grow from milk to meat. And growing, and as it says in First Peter chapter 2, verse 2, and growing in grace and in knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It says in Second Peter 3, verse 18. So let's see Second Peter 1. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 10. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 10. It says, And beside this, giving all diligence unto your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity, which is love. For these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye all neither be barren nor unfruitful. In the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind. They say we, if we lack all this, we are blind. May we not blind in the name of Jesus Christ. They say, but he that lacketh this is blind and cannot see afar off. Hmm. And had forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. Wherefore, the, the rather brethren... Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Hallelujah. May God help us to be able to do this and to be able to keep this. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's go to Philippians, which is the last one. Philippians chapter 3, verses 8 to 11. It says, Ye doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count new but done that I may win Christ and be found in him not having my own righteousness which is of the law but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Hmm. Brother Paul is still saying this, that he's still praying after decades of, of walking with the Lord. He said, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. He said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable unto his death. And verse 11 says, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead is still growing and after decades of following the lord he's still praying this he wants to know him and the power of his resurrection hallelujah he's still growing in spirit brother paul is still growing in spirit after decades of following the lord hallelujah may god strengthen us he shall strengthen us he will give us strength he will, he will give us strength to follow him to know him, to walk with him, to, to grow in him, in the name of Jesus Christ. He shall give us grace to walk with him, to be strengthened. He shall lead us with power of the most high, the power of Holy Spirit, to be able to enlighten our spirit man, to follow him, to do his will, to walk according to his will, for him to behold us daily and be happy. He shall enlighten us, he shall give us grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall grow in spirit, in soul, even in our body. We shall walk with him. We shall be of him. We shall end with him. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Yashchaya. And I also have 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 and 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Hallelujah. If you have followed me up to this time and you have not given your life to Christ, please say this prayers after me. It's sinner's prayer. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Yeshaya in Hebrew. So it's Christ Jesus, Yeshaya. Have mercy on me. I believe in your death and resurrection for me. Forgive me of all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Put on me garment of salvation. Renew right spirits within me. Grant me grace to follow you to the end. Amen. I pray through Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19 that Ahaya shall give you one heart. He shall put a new spirit within you. He shall take the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Amen. If you say this, please go to any Bible-believing church near you. Get the word of God. Read the word of God. And Holy Spirit will lead you and take it from there. Amen. Walk with the Most High in truth, in righteousness, in uprightness of heart. Shalom.